A 78-year-old Syracuse woman brutally assaulted back in January still struggles to recover from the vicious attack. Months after the assault, Eleonora Herzog doesn't recognize anyone, including her own children. She was beaten so badly she was left with fractured eardrums, eye socket, broken jaw, nose and cheeks. She spent three months in the hospital recovering. Her life was turned upside down. It all happened on New Year's Day. She was attacked on the north side on Lodi Street. Syracuse police later arrested a convicted killer, 42-year-old Willie McKee, for beating Herzog and stealing her purse. Now at 6, Sarah Beth Ackman sits down with Herzog's family to find out how she's doing. She's live where the attack happened with the story tonight. Sarah Beth. The 78-year-old woman was beaten so badly here on Lodi Street, she can't even remember her nine children. We do want to warn you that the photos you might be seeing shortly may be difficult to watch. Marshall Casalier says these past five months have been extremely difficult on her and her family ever since her mother was attacked. My mother doesn't have no memory of being married after 40 something years. She has nine kids. She doesn't even realize who they are. She thinks we're just people coming to visit her. Five months ago, her mother, Eleanor, was brutally beaten by 42-year-old Willie McKee. Her daughter says her mother was walking to the bakery on Lodi Street just a little after 8 in the morning on New Year's Day when McKee attacked her, stealing her purse. He literally left my mother there on Lodi Street to die while he stole all of her property, her glasses, the whole nine yards, everything. Her list of wounds are long. She has a brain injury, her eye socket, eardrum, and jaw were cracked. Also, her entire front face was shattered. And this isn't my mother. I mean, if you was to see your mother, how can somebody do this to somebody's mother? This is the most recent photo of Eleanor. You can see her face has healed, but her daughter says her memory is still gone. My mother will never be able to move back into her apartment, pay any of her bills, drive anything. My mother can't walk. My mother can't feed herself. He damaged my mother for life. Her daughter says she wants justice for her mother, saying no one deserves to be attacked on the streets of Syracuse. For now reporting live on Lodi Street, I'm Sarah Beth Ackerman. It is a heartbreaking story. So difficult to uh, even see the pictures and hear the family's story. Mm -hmm.